What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to do a brief overview, a basic guide to the Paragon board concerning glyphs. We're gonna go over everything that you guys need to know just as a brief overview. And then I got some bonus tips for you at the end. So make sure to stay all the way. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost, to be able to use our glyphs that we're gonna find that we're gonna talk about, you have to be able to unlock the Paragon board. So how do you unlock the Paragon board? The Paragon board unlocks after reaching level 50 on your character. From then on, you can earn one Paragon point every 25% of a level. So that means every level is gonna give you four Paragon points that you can use to upgrade your Paragon board by putting points into each of these nodes, okay? Now, you'll have a total of 222 points total after it's all said and done for a level 100 character, and that's after reaching 1500 renown in each of the quote unquote acts or regions, zones inside of Sanctuary. This is gonna give you 20 additional Paragon points, so you'll have 220 total to spend on these nodes, but more importantly, into the glyphs that you can socket into your Paragon board and level up. So now let's take a look at each and every single type of node that you're gonna have in Diablo 4 that you're gonna be able to access. So first we have the normal nodes. They provide a plus five stat bonus to any of our stats, whether strength, willpower, dexterity, or intelligence. These are really gonna be your most common nodes throughout the Paragon board. Next, you're gonna have your magic nodes, which provide a little bit more of a specific stat bonus, which is ra often rarer and found on more items. So you're gonna have like plus seven dexterity or plus seven nature magic damage. These nodes are really, really powerful and strong. They definitely help out, so I recommend leveling these up. Next is gonna be your rare nodes. Your rare nodes have powerful base effects and additional bonus effects if the thresholds are met. For example, if you have the finisher node, you're going to get 28% core skill damage, 10 dex, and then if you reach 540 intelligence total, this includes your paragon board as well as items or uh, intelligence bonuses from gear, you will get another 14% core skill damage on top of that, which just makes you do even more damage. Last and certainly but not least is what you're doing in the Paragon Board 4 is your legendary nodes. These are gonna be the most powerful nodes that you can have in Diablo and really help shape your character. So you can see here as our Ceaseless Conduit, you're gonna get Crackling Energy as a 25% chance to not consume a charge when triggered and Crackling Energy's damage is increased by 2% per total of intelligence that you have. The current bonus is 50% based on this example because of the intelligence modifier that you have. In your entire board, you're gonna be able to have one legendary node per board section as you continue to level up and add more board pieces so keep that in mind so that way when you're picking which legendary power you want to have first and foremost to just boost your power level even higher now that we know how to unlock the paragon board and kind of what the different nodes are let's take a look at the glyph sockets okay the glyph sockets are special nodes on a paragon board when we unlock a glyph socket you can use a node or a paragon glyph to put into the socket and this is going to power boost your character to an infinity and beyond. Yes, I did do that. Big shout out to Toy Story. The Paragon Glyph will empower nodes and you will gain additional bonuses that are around the node inside of a select area. Okay, now each of these are gonna be completely different, but once you reach, reach the thresholds within it, you're going to see that you get additional bonuses similar to the rare nodes. So for example, you're gonna have this node tactician. So you're gonna get some basic stats with lightning resistance, crackling energy damage, as well as intelligence, but you deal 10% increased damage for every four seconds after casting a defensive skill. Okay, now when you look at the bonuses for the additional, you deal 10% increased damage for four seconds after casting, but you have to get 25 decks within the area to be able to unlock that. This in theory is relatively easy, but there's different um, areas of each particular node whether it's blue node which is a magic node or a rare node which is a yellow node the area of which you can put points into to reach these additional effects depends on which node because the area is smaller or bigger all right now that we kind of know what glyphs are and kind of what they do let's look at the different type of glyphs that we can put into our sockets so you have magic glyphs which are like runes these are pretty basic magic glyphs that you can use it gives you small bonuses this isn't really the best ones that you want to put in but early on they are really good now if you look at the two different types of the rare nodes you can see that they have different levels the rare nodes are your most powerful nodes that you can put into those sockets which really can boost your character's power level to a whole nother level power level another level yeah it makes sense 
Each glyph inside of Diablo 4 can be leveled up by going to do nightmare dungeons nightmare dungeons are going to level these up now i will say keep in mind that leveling these glyphs up guys is really tough to do and it the, the max level i believe is 15 and it really takes a lot to level these up so just keep that in mind when you're playing your first playthrough in diablo 4. now we briefly talked about how you can level these glyphs up by completing nightmare dungeons and as you guys can see here just to put it into perspective you're going to have this big bar this red bar after you socket a glyph is the max level at 15. so when you're putting points into these nodes to reach whatever affix that you're getting whether it's like plus 25 decks to get the additional effect this is a pretty wide area however when you guys are first finding nodes inside of Diablo 4, it's going to be the magic nodes first, which you guys can see here are going to be indicated by your blue lines. So when you first put a node in, you're going to only have this small radius to be able to increase the node's power and get any additional effects that it has. And as you continue to level them up, then you'll be able to go to the yellow lines, which is a little bit bigger. It allows for a little bit more variety. I wouldn't put anything in here. These are going to represent the rare nodes. So I probably wouldn't think about like, hey, you have all this space no matter what node that you unlock because it's just not going to happen that way. And as we've seen, leveling up is going to be really tough. Now, once you max a node or a glyph leveling it up by nightmare dungeons then you're going to have this full effect and it makes putting the, the glyph socketed really really powerful so as we get closer to release it's going to be really cool to see what we can do as far as when we should put our glyphs in when we should socket them you know when should we level them up or which ones we should level up or even if these glyphs are going to be replaceable we haven't even seen if you can replace these glyphs if you guys have maybe it's data mine let me know down in the comments below but if you guys have enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like this is just a brief basic overview of glyphs and just kind of some bonus tips for you going into diablo 4 which is less than a week away guys seven days right at the timer above if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe comment down below what do you guys think about glyphs and kind of you know what ways are you guys going to use them in diablo 4 you know with your paragon board let me know down in the comments and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace